All right. Let us see if we can help some Muslims. Uh, hello, my friend. Uh, can hello. you hear me properly? I hear you. Go ahead. Okay, so you said Allah has a big butt and the other place. I don't think that's mentioned in the Quran. Do you, have, um, do you have the Quran with you? It's not about Allah's hands and the do you, feet. Do you have, one, by, one, by, one by one. Do you have the Quran with you? No. All right. Do your Allah sit? No. Can you tell me? All right. Do Allah sit on a rooster? No. All right. Do you see my screen? I see the screen with um, the Muslim men video, right. I guess. All right. Yeah, but I will show you. I mean, I will show you the reference in a second. I'm still going to be here, but uh, <clears throat> I don't have much time. So just this part for once. Yeah, my friends, you, you can have time. I mean, you are here to take a talk about your God. So why no, you, why why you don't why it. you don't have why you don't have time? I mean, you don't have time for Allah. Because today is Idul Adha, my friend, and I just came back home. So nobody shopping. nobody forced you to join us. Then you know if you if you cannot have a conversation, then you cannot have a conversation. You put your hand up, you join us, and either you have time for Allah or you don't have time for Allah. No, so, I have time for Allah. Man. All right, that's good. So no, I just can't according tell you that, uh, so you, you so you never that. you never heard that your God Allah he said on a rooster. No. All right. Let us see together if this is true or not. Um, you just give me the reference so I can look it up as well. Uh, do you know Arabic? Uh, not really. So how you can find reference if you don't know Arabic? All right. Is it a hadith? Is it a... Yeah, sure, it's hadith. Why not? I mean, if you're a prophet, he says something you don't... I, mean, I, can, I can look it up in my language. Uh, I don't think you will find those things in your language. I don't think even Muslims will tell you those things. This is why you spend your life, you never heard of it before, correct? That's why I came here. All right, exactly. So you never heard of it before for a reason, because Muslims are not telling you for this is exactly. really for this is really something very funny and very stupid. Here we go. I will show you the, the reference. And I was just you know trying to get something legitimate, official Islamic website. So you don't say this is here, this is there. This is Ad-Durar Sunniyah, and this is the Hadith, and this is Sahih. And I will use Google Translation. Here we go. God Almighty has allowed me to talk about a rooster, whose legs have been torn apart by the earth, and whose crest is bent under the throne. And he says, Glory be to you, how great our Lord is. And he responds to him, he who swears by me is a liar does not know that. All right. So the one who is carrying the throne of Allah and Allah in the top of the throne is a rooster. And this is a Sahih Hadith. No, but can, you, can you give me the reference? This is the Hadith. Here we go. Let me translate for you. Abu Huraira, Al-Muhaddith Al-Haythami, uh, the book Majma Al-Zawaid, and the volume number four, and uh, page number 183. And this is all is authentic. Narrator, Abu Huraira, updated, al Haythami source, al Zawaid complex, pager number, or 183rds, summary of the Hadith's ruling, his men are the men of the Sahih. All right. Page number, that's for 183, correct? Yeah. It's in the front of your screen. I just use Google Translation. I, I use phone, so my font is not so good. So your God, he sit in a rooster. Do he sit or he don't? I got to look it up, though. Just I just show it to you. I mean, I, 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 you see, so I'm he, showing you the reference. Me translation, but I, don't, I don't speak Arabic, my friend. So, so, I gotta look so it up. But, but you yourself, you will do the translation, too. I mean, I'm, I'm not even using my translation. I just use even the internet translation. Isn't this what you would do? Isn't this what you would do yourself? No, um, all the hadiths, they have been translated into other languages. I just Not the true. Not the true. Are you an Arabic speaker? 95% 90, of the Islamic books are not translated, especially the one is... I, I understand, but are you an Arabic speaker? Yeah, I am an Arab. You know that your language has several meanings for one word, correct? Uh, are you saying to me there's several meanings for Allah? No. 
I'm but, saying that in your language. Yeah, a second ago, you said to me. A second ago, you said to me, the same word have many meanings. Well, this is a rooster. A same word. It says here. Meaning. It says here. He is a rooster. His his feet is in the ground. His okay, head okay. is under the throne. I understand. Give me the other meaning of a rooster. Go ahead. No, I don't. I I'm not Arab. I don't know. But I know, but uh, you said to yes, me you, every word has you, several meaning. What what what, what, what language, word? How many meanings has What I word have? mean? What word you are talking about have several meaning? Is it the word rooster? No, I don't. I don't know the Arabic word for rooster. So why you come to this? Why you are saying to me every word have many meaning? A word has many meanings in your language. Yes, I you. The well, that's the same in every language. language. But this is the same in every language. What a big deal! But here is so clear. No, no, it says there is a rooster. Me, this is a rooster. Me, this is a rooster. This is a rooster. You know, Allah He allow me to speak about a rooster. His head is under the throne. His feet is down the ground. And Allah speak to him, and he said, the one who swear by me, you know. Uh, Can you give me the reference again? Here we go. There's, there are more, there's more reference. Here we go. This is another reference. This is Sahih. Here we go. God has allowed me to talk about a rooster whose legs have touched the ground, and whose neck is bent under the throne. And he is saying, glory be to you, how great you are. He replied. He who swears by me falsely does not know that. Narrator, Abu Hurairah updated, Al-Albani source, Sahih Al-Jami page or number, 1714 summary of the Hadith's ruling, Sahih. See? So it is Sahih. Okay, for some reason I cannot find the Hadith. Can you tell me what to search up so I could find it? What, what? Sahih Al-Jami. Sahih Al-Jami. Okay, but you have a very hard accent, so... I, I have a hard Arabic. accent. I'm speaking Arabic. I am the one who have a hard accent. I know. No, it's no. you have a hard English accent, my friend. But my friend, I'm reading the book for you in English, in Arabic. You said to me, what is the, the name Arab, of the book? How that can be an accent? Okay, listen. This is the link. Here we go. I will give you the link. Here we go. Now... But I can read Arabic, bro. If you, even if you give what, me the so link... So what I will I do... So what I will do... How you pray to Allah in Arabic then? I know the meanings. I you risk, know what? Uh, memorize no, you do not know the meaning. No, you do not. Here we go. If I open right now, what is the chapter you recite every day? I recite Surah Al-Fatiha. Al-Fatiha. All right. Tell me, right. The, tell me what is the first verse mean? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful. What does that mean? Allah is the most merciful and I start in his name. No, no, no. Start with the first one. In the name of Allah. What does that mean? I'm beginning in the name of Allah. Who is talking in the name of Allah? I am. You can speak in the name of Allah? Yes, I can swear in the name of Allah. Wallahi. No, no, no. no you see, okay, God. you see, this is because you are pagan. You know, we Christians are not allowed to swear by, by God. But because you are pagan, you swear by God because simply your God is nobody. He's an idol. But I'm asking you, who is the one saying in the name of Allah? Is that you or Allah? I am. No, you're lying. The one who's talking is Allah. So I'm lying. It's not you who say in the name of Allah. You are just reading what Allah said. No, yeah, the Quran is the word of God. So I'm reciting in the name of Allah. So, it, so you're, rec you're reciting what Allah said. How Allah is the one who's talking and he's saying in the name of Allah. So what's the problem with that? I don't get it. So now I'm live. I say in the name of Christian Prince, people will laugh at me. I'm a Christian Prince. Yes, I can say. You're a human being. You're I not can, Jesus. No, 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 hold on. What a human being. So this is this is Arabic. I have nothing to do with being a human being or being a, uh, being a cockroach. Here, Allah is talking, saying in the name of Allah. In order for this statement to be correct, it have to be someone else speaking, delivering something, saying, I am talking to you, sent by Allah, in the name of Allah, I say this. Allah is talking, saying in the name of Allah, this is foolish. That's foolish? Yes, because I, I the one is talking is Allah. You say this no, word, you say this sentence, if you speak, you are sent by somebody and you represent him. But the one who is talking is Allah. He don't say in the name of Allah, unless Allah, the one he is here, or the one is talking, he have other God, his name is Allah. And then second verse says, all the praise due to Allah. Okay, hold on. Who is talking again? Allah. So Allah praising Allah. So what's the problem with that? There's big problem. Number three. 
He just said here the most beneficial, the merciful. He just repeat the same thing again. Are you a parrot? No, but, uh, Are you okay, a parrot? So, Are you a parrot? Let me talk. In Arabic literature, literature, if you repeat the you same are... sentence twice in the whole article, you lose a big marks on the strength of the language. You don't repeat the same sentence again and again. You just say that. Not even 20 seconds ago. He repeated again because he have nothing to say. And then he is the master of the day of judgment. And then it says here, thee we do serve and do we uh, seek help. Allah saying that. This is obviously a prayer made by somebody have nothing to do with Allah, have nothing to do with Allah speaking. Somebody trying to copy the prayer of the Christian, our father out of heaven. There's no way Allah is talking. You know, this is why we say your God does not exist. Now we go back to zero. Who is Allah? Can I speak, please? Wow. Mm -hmm. So when you said all the praise to Allah, so you're saying God is praising himself and he can't do that. The, the one is talking, yes, he's, he's praising himself. So when Jesus said, my father is greater than I, and Jesus and the father are the same being. Well, Jesus is so speaking, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus speaking, speaking in the present, Jesus speaking in the present, and not saying, he, not, he is not saying in okay, the name, so, he is not no, saying in the name of, he is not saying in the name of Jesus. He is saying, my well, father. Says, my father is greater than I. So what? And he and the father is same. You, are it, it you see, you are trying to you are trying to change the topic. There's no connection I'm between the topic we are talking. I will answer you about it, about but you it. are you it's are changing the topic. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Jesus says, "My Father is greater than I." That's very normal. That's why he called him the Father. The Son is born of the Father, not the Father is born of the Son. So that's why he called him the Father. So my Father is greater than me. I am the Son. He is the Father. So you are being a foolish again. But what does have to do with this? When Allah He speak, and He say. In the name of Allah, obviously the one is talking is not Allah. If Jesus says in the name of my father, well, obviously Jesus is speaking, saying that the father I am speaking in his name, if he said that. But here, Allah, do we have a father? No. Is the one talking is the son and presenting the father? No. Is it even Muhammad talking? No. You Muslim, you say the one is talking is Allah. So how Allah, he says, we seek your help and we worship you. This is a fabricated prayer. In fact, it's not exist in the in the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud. Is that correct? I have no clue, man. You have no glue or no clue? I have no clue. Well, I can give you a glue to fix it. So now, in front of everybody, our topic is who is Allah? Do you know who is Allah? Yeah. Who? He's the creator of all of us. Well, that's another issue. You just said Allah is the creator. Isn't it the Quran says there's many creators? No. No? Let us no. see. Here we go. You have your Quran with you? You can open your Quran with you. Chapter 23, verse number 14. And chapter... Let me open it. Give me one moment. Chapter uh -huh. 23. Let's go one by one. Chapter right. 23, verse number... 14. <clears throat> verse number 14, okay? All right. Read it. Does it say that Allah is the best of the creators? For uh, okay, so it's uh, Surah Al Mu'minun, right? Uh huh. Then we made uh, then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump of flesh. Mm -hmm. And we made from the lump bones, and we covered the bones with flesh. Mm -hmm. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. All right, but you said to me, Allah is the creator. Correct. How many creators there is? There's only one creator. So are you saying to me, Allah do not speak with Arabic and he use the wrong language? He can use it in the wrong language. So why are they saying creators? Where does it say creators? It's in the front of you, the best of the creators. Hmm. That is a very good point. Uh huh. We heard the video, Mufti Mink was saying, he's the creator. I mean, the Muslim, they keep saying to us, he's the creator, he's the creator, he's the creator. Well, the Quran says that Jesus is the creator too. But this well, that will not solve the problem because Muslim will say to you, oh, Jesus, he got the power of a creation because Allah gave him permission. But that is still that's stupid because now Allah, he just have another divine next to him. We ask the Muslim, how we know that Allah is God? They say he's the creator. So the description of God is being a cre the creator. So if Jesus can create, that means Allah gave him the attribute 
of God. For now, Jesus can create, Allah can create, and God knows who more. Because the Quran says, the best of the creator, so it must be more than two, more than three. That is actually very um, convincing, but I have to look it up. So how Allah is the, and look here, do you, do you notice what the, what, the, what the madness in the verse? Here he's talking yeah, about creation of the baby. Creation. The Sorry? They use like a uh, creator, so they use an S in the English language. But you have to understand that uh, when the Arabic is translated into other languages, they make a lot of mistakes while translating. <laughs> My friend, you can you can, you can say you can you can say you can say those things to a foolish person who don't speak Arabic. I am an Arab. But I'm not reading translation. It's you who read translation. Correct. Okay. So here in Arabic it says. Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. In Arabic. You can do this. You can go and highlight your mouse. Like these days, we have AI, we have all kind of madness. You highlight it. You click at the translation. And here we go. Bingo. The creators. The creators. So when the Muslim, they give a presentation about God, their representation is a fabrication. Your God himself, he don't speak good Arabic. He don't speak good Arabic. Because if Allah wanted to prove to us that he is the creator, he failed. He just said he is the best of the creator. That means there's other creators that are good. He did not even condemn them. No, no, he's saying they are good, but I'm the best. So, and if Allah is the only creator and he say he is the best of the creators, that means Allah is lying. He has given himself a certificate that he is the best of the creators who they are not exist. So he's showing off, hey, I am the best of a football player. But he's the only one who plays football. You cannot say the word best unless there is a rest. Where is the rest of the creators? And if you read with me the verse... So if we, if we go to Surah Tur, chapter 52, verse 35, Chapter what? Chapter 52, verse number 35. All right, what about it? It says the same thing, the creators. Yeah, so that may be more horrible. We know that. Is that what help you? No. Same mistake. And here, well, and here it's even more, more horrible because Allah, he compared himself to bad. By saying this statement, he is saying that Baal is a good God and he is a creator, but he is the best of the creators. That is a By the way, I understand it. It's a problem with the translation. <laughs> no, this is the Arabic. It says... So how many ah, translations do you have in the Arabic for that word? What? That says the creators. Does it have, can it have a singular and a plural meaning at the same no, time? No, no, no. Khaliqin. Khaliq is one. Khaliqin is many. Sani'a, one maker. Sani'in, many. You can ask anyone who speaks Arabic, you know. And you can use Google Translation. The best of the creators. The best of creators. So Allah is saying, oh, you call upon Baal? Don't you know I am the best of the creator? That's mean Baal is a creator too. When you say he is jealous from you calling upon Baal, and he say he is the best of the creators, that means he acknowledge Baal as a creator. If I say that is a good point. So, but right now, so you just showed it to me. So, um, I gotta look into it. Then I'll let you know. All right. Anything else you want to say to me about your God? No, I think you know enough. I know enough or you know enough? No, I'm trying to know. That's why I'm, I, I come to your server, you know? Well, I saw you posting a link for a video and you said to me, Sheikh, my Sheikh, sh what the Sheikh was saying? Yes, yeah, so what argument do you have 
uh, that invalidates. So is there anything you can do to invalidate his argument? I did not see the argument. Tell me the argument. He can open the link. I don't open links of people. Just tell me what is the argument. No, so you guys believe the Father is God, right? Uh-huh. Jesus Christ is God too. Uh-huh. The Holy Spirit is God too. Right? Uh-huh. The Holy Spirit is a different entity. Person. The Holy Spirit is a different person. Mm -hmm. The Father is also a different person. Mm -hmm. The um, Jesus Christ is also a different person. Right? Uh -huh. So we have three persons. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so how can three persons be one person? How what? Uh, like, how? How can three people be one? Well, you know, this is how Muslims, I, 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 I don't, like, I'm not going to offend you by saying a statement, don't take it this way. But I'm speaking in general, how Muslims are stupid. If you are saying to God, how can you be three and one? That means you should say to him, how you, why want to call you God? God is called God because nothing impossible for him. I cannot be three person and one in the same time because I'm not God. I cannot be human and in heaven in the same time because I'm not God. I cannot be uh, under the water and above the water in the same time because I'm not God. God is someone he is called Almighty. So either you agree that the Almighty is the might of God, which means when you say how, that is a stupid how. I think your voice is cutting off. Huh? Your voice is cutting off. My voice is cutting off? Give me a second, hold on. But yeah, I got to go. Oh, you got to go now? I got to, yeah, but... Did, did I, you hear, did you hear my you? answer? Did you hear my answer about how he can? No. My God, yeah. my God, he is almighty God, so he can. He can be three and one. There's nothing impossible with God. That's why Jesus, he is human in the flesh, yet he can control the nature. Can your God control the nature? No. Jesus, he is a human in the flesh, but he can command the dead ones and bring him back from, from, from dust, like what he did to the son of Noah, according to your prophet. Jesus yes. can Jesus can your heal the... the my voice cutting off again. Um, yeah. Can I come back later? All right, no problem. Take a hike. All right, I'll be here. All right. Bye. <laughs> Who's next?